Hello guys welcome back to my channel my reviews. First of all I am sorry that I could not upload any video since this long. There was some technical issue which are not fully resolved. So, there may not be regularity in my video. So, without wasting any more time let's begin. Oppo just released its smartphone Oppo F9 Pro. Today in this video I will talk about its pros and cons along with my opinion about this device. First of all let's have a look at its general specs. It has Meditech Helio P60 chipset. With 6GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. Having a massive 6.3 inch Full HD display with 19.5 is to 9 screen to body ratio. It has dual rear camera of 16 plus 2 megapixel. Packed with 3500 mAh battery along with VOOC charger. So, now let's divide the video in two section of pros and cons. This device has diamond cut panel on its back. Which looks cool in hand. This device is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass V6. Which is probably the first smartphone to launch with this protection. So, thumbs up for Oppo. It has super fast VOOC charger which is one of the main highlight of this smartphone. This is same as OnePlus Dash charger. Oppo has just rebranded its name. This device has a very fast and responsive fingerprint scanner and face unlock. So, you won't face any problem with them. The reliability of the face unlock is still behind the curtain which cannot be told before hands on use for few days. And one of the appreciated fact is that this device comes with dual nano SIM plus SD card slot. Which is must in this date. So, it's good that they have not copied Apple because of presence of 3.5mm audio jack. Now, moving toward cons. First of all it's hard to understand Oppo the device with 9000 rs pricing and 23990 rs pricing are packed with the same processor. Even the last generation Oppo was packed with the same processor. So, I was expecting them to upgrade. The second point is their polycarbonate body which is not that durable. And now the turn of some of the heartbreaking cons. It has not video stabilization and also no 4K recording support. Come on Oppo, in this pricing every consumer wants those basic stuffs which is even delivered by 15K device. They have used dual camera term just to create hype. Because the 2. Megapixel camera doesn't give you that depth feel you want with your device. They have given the same micro USB cable instead of USB type C cable which is not acceptable in this segment. So, now what I think about this device. I think none of the cons should be present in this device mentioned above because those cons are mentioned according to the price segment. I think you should wait for Realme 2 which is expected to be priced below 20k with amazing specs. So, this is all for today guys hope you liked this video then please like, comment, share and subscribe this channel. Don't forget to comment if I missed any pros or cons.